All of this leading us to the fact that the Jews in America, in order to establish themselves and create their identity, will be much more tied to Israel. Israel that wants to retain its leadership in the Jewish world and constantly claim on behalf of the Jews all over, including the Israeli government. The Israeli government, for the first time, is putting money into the diaspora rather than raising money from the diaspora to Israel. To retain the diaspora connected, including the Israeli diaspora. One of the very interesting things that I've been doing in this research, and I'm going again in a week time to Los Angeles, but uh, I, I was in Los Angeles last month again with Israeli diaspora organization. I have their pamphlets here, uh, uh, which is fascinating. This is the ILC, the Israeli Leadership Council members of, of Los Angeles. And you see Israelis who used to move out of Israel used to be regarded by the Israelis as Yordim, those like, in, 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 in the, like for the Mexican deportos, those who deserted. Yored is someone who is stepping down. In Israel, don't talk about immigration in the natural terms. Yordim are those who are stepping down, and Olim, those who are coming to Israel, are making Aliyah, kind of like stepping up in their existential being, moving to Israel. The Israelis abroad now, including Saban Forum that you hear about, they feel, they feel very natural in America, but they feel Israelis. And the, the Jewish organization in America don't like them so much sometimes. Say, you know, are you, are you Israelis or American? We are American first. But they have huge presence, huge rallies. They become, and they're also no longer regarded by Israel as, as pochos, as the Mexicans used to regard Mexicans who are coming here. But rather, as our brother, there is tremendous investment in them. They understand their skills. And because of high-tech industries that Israel is shuttled back and forth, you know, Israel is uh, what they call the, the, the startup nation also, they call us. Uh, in, the, in this very famous book, The Startup Nation, which kind of showed this kind of universal attitude. But this is a small kind of portion of this Zionism that I was talking about. In short, I think that the Israeli process will continue and will be even more uh, exceeding along the lines of the challenges that Israel is facing will be reflected in the challenges that the diaspora is seeing. In the last election, I think, is also a very interesting indication of the direction it is going. There was a sense that Israel is kind of coming apart. The tribes are coming apart. There was also a sense in writing about it that Israel and the diaspora are coming apart. Because many people are very much influenced by the liberal language about it. Every time a liberal writing about it, we're coming apart, you think they're coming apart. But I suggest they cannot come apart. They cannot divorce. What Mr. Beinart will do about his American Jewishness if he's not going to be concerned with Israel uh, uh, occupation? What is he going to do? Going to go to a reform synagogue, come back home and try to save his kids to go to a Sunday school to his kids? It's tough. And maybe find Israeli food or uh, falafel again. It's tough. He cannot retain it. He cannot. And that's, that's the dilemma. Even for those who have, I'm, I'm not talking about the conservative aspect of it, because in terms of travel and so on, the data that we have, who travels to Israel among Americans, mostly religious Jews are traveling 81, 82 percent have been in Israel more than once. Liberal Jews have been maybe 22 percent, uh, which is kind of like show you. So, so those who are attached to the conservatives. And that will mean that rather than growing apart, they will in fact grow and maybe sometime parallel, but very much will be dependent on each other. This is an interesting phenomenon that I see, that even though there is kind of like a sense that here there is a sovereign state and all others, as people was trying to describe it, Lawrence Stein, his book, 2000, Homelands, you know, the, it's a global world, we'll have Jews here, Jews there, but by and large, it's becoming, the sovereignty is becoming much more pronounced in terms of defining Judaism rather than Judaism defining sovereignty. I know it's maybe sound provocative, but why not uh, on such a lovely day in Washington?